is all my fault. Get away, Kate. It's not your fault I jumped into that stupid tank. Sit. No, I wasn't in there long. I'm fine. I said sit. Well, we haven't finished cleaning the tank yet. That's right. Kate and Joey will get onto that straight away. Yeah. I'll think I'll make some tea. Thanks, mate. If you hadn't got me out of there. But I did. But don't worry about it. Hey, you're supposed to be resting. Oh no, I'm fine. I um, I just forgot to have some lunch. Oh, I'll fix you something. Come and have some tea first. Sorry for what I said about Florence. I hope you have a really great time tomorrow night. And if she turns out to be the right woman for you, then even better. It's not such a terrible thought, is it? What? Settling down, having children. You just never know how long you've got, do you? Well, it hasn't worked out for me so far. It will. How do you know? Just give it time. Stevie. Thank you. Where are you? There's nothing. Just looking out for a mate. <laughs> Oi! You gonna spare one of those for me? Come on, get down there. What happened? Why aren't you at the ball with Felicity? We did the ball thing. Last about five minutes. Too many boring old farts, huh? You were right. There's a reason you don't see someone for ten years. So it didn't work out? Flick was ready to bail and... I realise I'd rather be somewhere else. So I got all dressed up for nothing? Ah, oh, well you impressed the hell out of me. If I'm single and desperate in ten years, I'll love you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Aren't you going to say the same for me? Can we make it twenty? Oh. <laughs> Watch it, I'll drop you back in that tank. <laughs> Did you agree to it? I didn't agree. I don't know anything about it. Well, are you running this place or not? Stevie, it's the first I've heard about it, OK? But well, I'll tell you this. If Auntie Sandra thinks she's going to get away with it, then Auntie Sandra is a nutcase. Yeah, or something even worse. Tell you what, Charlotte. You want to stay with Auntie Stevie? Mm. While Alex goes and puts the kibosh on Auntie Sandra's drain. Good girl. I'll be back. Okay. to ask a favour. I'm the quiet. I've got a horse, Hurricane. Oh, yeah, the troublemaker. Yes, a bit jumpy. 
won't take a saddle. <laughs> you want me to have a go? Yeah. Well, sorry, I can't. Today's the day. So I've heard. Rose is coming. Yep. The bus gets in it too. Heard that too, 50 times. <laughs> <laughs> so is this the horse of Rose? Uh-huh. It's going to be perfect. Just two of us hanging out, riding. Just the two of you. Could be a good opportunity. Ah, no. Michelle and I have an agreement. When we tell her, we'll tell her together. Fair enough, mate. Hey, remember Rose? How could I forget? Great to see you again, Rose. Same here. And uh, this is Rob. G'day. He's a top conversationalist. He's hot. Forget it, he bats for the other team. Alex? No, Rob. Oh, you think Alex is hot? Right, Righto, Jody. You and Rob be right here? Yeah, no worries. G'day. Stevie, I'll go and get Hurricane C back at Drivers. Okay. See you later, Alex. Hello. Here we go. One headache home delivered. Yeah, my bill's in the mail. So is our check. Is that Hurricane? Ooh. Yeah, living up to Ooh. his name. Can I give you a hand? Oh, no, you don't. He's easily spooked. Doesn't like new faces. Yeah, Stevie's going to make a new horse out of him. She's got the magic touch. Magic? Really? Um, have you seen Mum? I wanted to show her the lamb. Oh, she took herself off for a walk. I can show you where she went. Oh, no, it's okay. I've got to get back to help the girls. See ya. See ya. Did I hear the word Mum? Yeah. Michelle turned up. Right. Is that a good thing? Thought it might be. Michelle has this way of making me feel like I'm 15 again. Only if you let her. Well, I've made a goal of it here, and if she can't see that, then... So what's it matter what Michelle thinks? Because sooner or later we're going to tell Rose the truth, and it would help if Michelle thought I'd make a decent mother. Ah, that's too much pressure, Stevie. Just have a good time with Rose. Michelle will come around. Time to have a chat with Hurricane, eh? Yeah. Thanks for this. i am fixing myself if I had a day to spare. Is that right? Yeah, you know me. Women and horses. Quash. <laughs> okay, horses I might believe, but women, you don't have a clue. You haven't even noticed Rose looking at you. You're joking. <laughs> Most blokes wouldn't know a woman was even interested until she hit him over the head with a soggy beer carton. Better than a full one. I know it's not coming from you. Just keep your distance. Last thing I need right now is a heartbroken teenager. Yes, Mum. See you later. Speed it up, will you? You're charging by the hour now, remember? Sorry. Just got a lot on my mind right now. Three's a crowd, huh? How'd you feel when you found out Harry wasn't your real father? I was hurt, angry, looking for a wall to punch. Mum not telling me. That was the hardest thing to take. Well, I want this to make us closer. I'd just I'd die if it tore us apart. Would you have been happier if you'd never known the truth? Dunno. Mate, I wish I could tell you what you want to hear. But I just don't know. Is this who I think it is? Michelle, this is Alex. Hello. Oh, hi. Listen, I better push off and make a start. Lovely to meet you. Roses at the sheep pens. Actually, I was looking for you. You're right. Rose and I should stay the week. You've got a right to spend some time with her. I'm telling her? I just need a bit more time to think about it. Can we take it a step at a time? Okay. 